Hello, I'm on the hunt for asset packs, um, and so I thought I'd talk about it. I occasionally, about every six months, I buy a whole slew of asset packs. Uh, I guess it's more like three months these days, uh, just because I'm kind of addicted to them. Uh, I do character modeling, but I'm really not very good at environmental modeling, so I tend to buy things like this. Uh, this is a little bit of, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about how to use the asset packs and asset store. Uh, in this case, for example, this says, attention, if you're using Unity Pro, you have to import image effects uh, or remove those empty scripts from the camera. Um, that sort of thing implies that these guys actually know what they're doing, so don't take those sorts of exceptions as bad. And I'll go ahead and show you that here. Uh, come on, get out of the way. Oh, and I recommend not using their built-in browser. This browser sucks, but I'm using it at the moment for just demonstration purposes. So here you can see that I've got the same error on this other asset pack that I bought. Um, they're actually, I think, the same... Are they the same studio? I think they're probably the same studio. Uh, but what we have is we have these buildings. Uh, some of these assets are causing these errors. And the problem is that I haven't imported all of the things I need to import. And it says that I need to import uh, image effects. So let's go ahead and do that. And obviously this is only happening because I have Pro. If you didn't have Pro, that wouldn't wouldn't be an issue. Grind, 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 grind. So what you're seeing here is two sci-fi building packs. There's very, very few sci-fi building packs. It's a, it's a hugely sparse part of, uh, of the asset store um, that combine well. So you'd be hard pressed to tell which asset is from which pack. They don't, there's no clear distinction. You don't get the feeling that I'm cobbling stuff together out of very distinct packs. But that does mean that I have to choose my packs carefully. So for example, I have three sci-fi building packs actually uh, brought in here. I've got the sci-fi building pack, which is these guys, and then I've got the future city pack, which is these guys, and then I've got, I can't remember their name because they didn't actually put themselves in a named browser, in, in a named directory. They just put themselves in a directory called meshes, so I can't remember their name. But I've got this RTS pack. So this is the pack that I'm not able to use, and the reason I can't use it is because it has a very distinct edge to all the buildings. All of the buildings have this concrete abutment. And that works out fine for an RTS because that's you, when you're doing an RTS you're just plunking shit down in the middle of a field so having a base actually makes it look more realistic. But it clashes with the rest of my structures and there aren't enough RTS buildings uh, there's only seven I think to actually build a full game out of so I can't combine the two. I can't combine that with the other packs. So instead I'm just combining the two that don't have such idiosyncratic design that, that you know their their design is is solid, but it's not so idiosyncratic that I can't combine them. These from the Future City pack are just models. Um, they're just meshes with good textures attached, uh, and I really appreciate that. On the other hand, these sci-fi building pack, these are actually in integrated level of detail stuff. So over here you can see that they've given me a nice level of detail. Um, uh, interface, and as I pan out, see this, and that's really cool uh, because if you are going to do a lot of zooming, a level of detail asset is incredibly valuable, um, and it shows that these guys are really quite good at what they do uh, in terms of, of releasing asset packs. So if someone's got a level of detail thing going on, I almost always buy that pack, even though they're almost always two to three times as expensive. I believe that this one was 45 bucks, and these, this one was 25 bucks. I can't remember. Anyhow, I've never regretted buying an asset pack, um, and now I'm I'm not terribly rich, but I do have enough money that I'm not starving every every week. And I understand that a lot of you might have literally no money to spend on asset packs, and I'm sorry for making you drool, but. Um, when it comes down to it, I've never regretted buying an asset pack. The, the ones that I buy, I always take a look and make sure that I can use them, but even if they're 90 bucks, they're usually worth it. And you take a look and you make sure it's not one of the ones that's bad. Um, but internal, in, in, interior, exterior, vegetation, whatever, uh, I buy shaders, and I've never been disappointed, and it's a huge time saver. Can you imagine how much time it would have taken me to build these facilities? And these are facilities that... I was making a prototype for uh, the idea of a colonization game where you had to build the subcultures and culture of the colony 
to last a long time because they're so far from Earth and you can't get there very easily. So you've got to build your your uh, your bases out on faraway planets to have a culture a culture. So the idea was that you would use these facility units. So this here would be the uh, Econo facility, which would be uh, a system for for building up your local economy. Um, and talking to other, you know, doing like uh, inter banking across different uh, different facility, different uh, colonies, that sort of stuff. Now over here, you've got your basic habitat, which is where your colonists just flat out live. Um, and then you've got uh, power rig, which mines uh, power and then and then creates power uh, uh, units to ship, so that you can ship out fuel to your various orbital star system, starships and so on and so forth. And then over here you've got your mining facility which just drags ore up out of the ground. Can you imagine how much effort it would have taken me to get this to look this good if I was doing all of the modeling? The programmer art that I used to put in my prototypes is completely obsolete if you have a couple of bucks. And if you don't have a couple of bucks, well, go for programmer art or use some free assets that you find around the store. But uh, I, I really can't say this enough, there are a lot of people that could be using asset packs that aren't, and uh, I really recommend you look into it. It really makes development start so much faster. I mean, this doesn't even, aside from the fact that the ground is obviously placeholder, this doesn't even look like a prototype. It looks like a beta. So, cool. Anyhow, it's kind of off topic, but I figured I'd show you.